the flames, destroying apartments at Jernigan Gardens on Mercy Drive in Orlando this Saturday. And that is where we find News 6's Jerry Askin. And Jerry, people are telling you that this puts them in a really bad position as the holidays are just around the corner. You know, it's so tough happening so close to Christmas. And right now I can tell you uh, Christmas this year just won't be the same for the so many families now left without a home. You can see what's left now of their apartment building from Saturday's fire. I talked to families today who were salvaging all they could, and we're talking more than 50 people, most of them who are kids now without a home happening days before Christmas. It wasn't our fault. We just forced to move out of our homes and it's not fair. I don't think it's fair and we had nowhere to go. Gwen Wyatt is like many families now left broken and trying to find a place to call home just two weeks before Christmas after a fire Saturday at her apartment complex. It's going to be real tough, really, really tough. Orlando Fire tweeting out these pictures over the weekend showing the blaze. We're told 56 people, including 40 kids, are now displaced from the Jarnikin Gardens apartments, formerly known as Windsor Cove. Wyatt has four grandkids who live here, and now, weeks before Christmas, she's devastated. That's the Grinch that spoiled Christmas. So I don't know how that's going to go. The American Red Cross is helping to make sure those 13 families can still have a Merry Christmas. We were able to assist with some financial assistance, um, as well as you know personal comfort kits, which, which consist of um, hygiene products, things that they need immediately. I'm here with my daughter now, I don't know how long, but they have us someplace to stay within five days. Yeah, sad time now for so many families. No word now on the calls of the fire. This coming as Orlando City Commissioner Regina Hill is actually having a toy drive for this community here. Um, I'll tell you more about that on News 6 at 5.30 as the ice cream truck there passes by. But I'll tell you more about that coming up here on News 6 at 5.30. For now, we are live here in Pine Hills. Jerry Askin getting results, News 6. All right, Jerry, thank you.